I love winter camping. <laughs> That's what I call perfect. Done just right. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. Zach Fowler sent me a big box of goodies. We're gonna see what he sent. I always like goodies. Backpack, a hidden woodsman. Feels heavy. See what's in this. Outdoor vitals. That. Well, that looks like a sleeping bag, like the ones we had on the 30 day. Mind you, I had my own from Patagonia, which is what I used. And some bank line, a charger. I'm not sure what that's for yet. Oh, I wanted one of these. One of these tarps that we used on the 30 day. Camo, I like camo. And I believe this is the uh, one of the hammocks that we used. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm not going to pull everything right out of the bags. But one of the hammocks that we used on the 30 day. So I'll probably use it even though it's winter time. Use that for a night out in the bush. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for this. My drone. All right, Macvit Mini. Here's my drone. And this should be my camera. There we go. All right, so now we've got a 4K camera now. Should improve on the quality of the videos. And uh, hopefully he set it all up for me. But I'll figure it out. Very similar to the camera that I am using, but 4K. Oh, and a tripod. Forgot about that. Brand new nice tripod. And get into the packaging. Yeah, might take me time to get this out. That's a nice looking tripod. Very nice. Man's Frodo. And that looks like about it. Get to try out all this new gear. Right on. Thanks, Zach. Appreciate you, buddy. So I was... Uh just driving along the road here and I see something I can't turn down really. I've been cramped up and sleeping in this truck for a while. I just want to be able to stretch out. My back is killing me. I'm going to sleep under this tree tonight. Yeah, it's winter, but you know what? Winter camping is one of my favorite things to do. It's not cold out and I got a good sleeping bag. I mean, I wouldn't do this in 30 below in a big storm. But I'll show you where I want to spend the night tonight and cook something on the fire. Listen to the wolves, coyotes, whatever. I mean, it's not a survival thing that I'm doing right now. I just want to spend the night under the trees. And even if it snows, I'll be good under this one. I'll show you. Be nice and dry under here yeah so if you haven't tried winter camping you got to try it don't do it in the severe cold wind and dangerous conditions but my truck is right over there I'm not really worried I just want to stretch out and this is what I like to do I don't like setting up tents and all that I just want to sleep under this tree have something to eat 
I'm gonna roast the chicken up on the fire and got my ferro rod back now. Thanks, Bree. And uh, just have a winter camping night. This is the kind of things I live for, man. Try it sometime, you'll like it. So one thing I do wanna say is you see how low these branches are? These branches are so low to the ground. I don't want my fire anywhere near these dead branches. The last thing we need is to start the tree on fire. I don't need it for heat anyway. Yeah, see, I mean, you can imagine how quick this tree would go up if I was to build a fire like anywhere close to it. It would just go up like a candle. Probably better off to start my fire over there somewhere in the snow even, but at least 10 feet away from the tree. Definitely not under it. See how those branches are actually touching the ground even? Right in the needles. Even got some dry grass under the tree here too. Be able to get our fire going like nothing. Oof. My sleeping bag is losing feathers here. Must have got punctured in the truck or something. Time for a new one, I guess. Oh well, I've had it everywhere. Patagonia, all over. Oh, I love winter camping. <laughs> I do, I just love it, and this will be perfect. This is so covered. I mean, it would take you a lot of time to make a shelter like this, and this is just natural. All these big branches all the way around. Even if we get a snowstorm, this is gonna be good. You bet ya. Oh yeah. It's amazing how comfortable it can be just uh, under a tree because these uh you know the pine needles from this tree been piling up here for years and it's actually very soft definitely protected i mean i love these kind of situations I really do like and it's warm enough with this sleeping bag well it's gonna get cold tonight i mean definitely freezing but I'm not too worried about that. Got the fire, and like I say, the truck's not far. It's not a survival video, folks. It's just a winter camping situation. But I was thinking, you've seen me use the ferro rod in a lot of my videos, and I was thinking maybe I should make some and put on my store. What do you think? 
It'd have uh, ovens, Rocky Mountain bushcraft, put the antler on the handle, and sell them in my store. Give me a thumbs up if you like the idea. But this ferro rod, I've had it in uh, Patagonia, Mongolia, the 30 day challenge. Uh, I just use it all the time. There's nothing like a ferro rod like this. So uh, another thing you should have. But anyways, I'm gonna get some sleep, see what tomorrow brings and hmm, losing a lot of feathers on this sleeping bag. I guess it's time for a new one. It should do for tonight fine, I'm sure. If not, I guess I'll have to go back to the truck, eh? <laughs> no, I won't do that. Okay, folks, well, that was very comfortable. And I see that it snowed quite a bit last night. There's little bits of snow around me, but not too bad. Um, adjust this here, it's too low. I got a stick right in my back now. <laughs> I was very comfortable. It was very comfortable. Boy, oh boy. That's why I had the zoom on. So anyway, I was perfectly comfortable, perfectly warm. Uh, the stars were out, I could see last night. It was very cold, I would say 10 below. But I was perfectly fine under here. I got up this morning and it looks like we've had six to eight inches of snow. Little skiffs around where I was sleeping, but nothing major. But I love this winter camping. This is why these kind of things, trees like this, are perfect. And it was good to get this snow to show you how efficient that this uh, kind of a tree can be in a snowstorm. So actually, I had a little bit of snow in my boots, must have drifted in into them. I should have put them upside down, I guess. Fire, it went out and it's buried, can't even see where it was. So uh, something else I should mention is uh, by the time I got my bed set up and the fire going last night, it got too dark to roast my chicken. So I'm gonna use that for an excuse to spend another night. I love winter camping so much that I'd like to spend another night. And that way I can show you that even if it snows all night, I'm still good under here. Perfect. What else? I thought there was something else I was gonna mention. Oh well, give me a minute and I'll think about it. Oh yeah, I remembered. So I would say about midnight last night, I was sound asleep and then the coyotes were here somewhere and they started yipping back and forth. Must have been six or eight of them, quite a few. Uh, that's what I like about getting out, it's just the sounds of nature. I'm not too worried about cougars, the bears would be off somewhere else sleeping. Grizzlies do come out in the winter sometimes, but it was pretty cold. So I'm not too worried about that. But it's neat to hear the wildlife when you get out winter camping and then you see the tracks in the morning and stuff. So give winter camping a try. Don't do it when it's 30, 40 below and make sure you're prepared.
Okay, we'll get our fire going. Get our chicken cooking. I uh, just want to say thanks to Karchi Kirpati. Uh, they sent me a big chunk of ferro rod to replace my old one. It's getting kind of worn out. It started a lot of fires, the old one. So I'll uh, replace it with this, the thicker one. But then, what a surprise. They sent me a nice knife. Moro style, I guess. About the width of your hand. Same on the handle, Mora. Uh, nice and sharp, good steel. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, we'll just wait for our fire to get going. But I would like to say that um, consult your doctor if winter camping is right for you. Because the side effects may include warmth, happiness, joy, solitude. Make sure you consult your doctor first. From the people that brought you getting outside comes prescription strength nature. Okay, well, I'm out collecting some wood for the fire and came across a snowman fishing. You gotta see this. I mean, it's pretty cool. That's what I like about getting out. The snow, the clouds, everything looks weird. bit of barbecue sauce. So this is not uh, one of my chickens. Um, I just wanted a small chicken to have out here. My chickens are quite big compared to this. That's what I call perfect. I cooked it fairly slow, but it's been a couple hours. And man, oh man, that looks good. You always know when your chicken's done if you can pull a leg off. Beauty. Appreciate all you subscribers, keep the bell on, 
we're going to have more exciting adventures to come. Done just right. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.